remember, or you may have heard, that Einstein's relativity, right. more, more specifically, you learn this in special theory of relativity, where the faster you move, right. the slower time, time ticks is. for you right. as others view it. Relative okay? to the observer. Relative to the observer, correct. You don't know anything's happening. Right. Your clock still ticks as far, you still got your, your heartbeat, all of this. Okay, so this is not a physiological thing. It is an actual property of the fabric of space and time under those conditions. Wow. Okay. That All is right. fascinating. It is. It's completely fascinating. It's completely. So I watch you fly by, and the faster you go, the slower time ticks for you. Okay? But my time stays the same. To you. To me. Right. To you. So not only does speed do this, also the strength of a gravitational field will have the same effect on you. Oh. The stronger the gravitational field is, the slower time ticks for you. Oh. And that wasn't formulated until his general theory of relativity um, uh, 10 years later. That took a lot more math and, and, and deeper insights into the universe. But once so, again, it makes sense because you're dealing with the fabric of space-time. It's the fabric of space-time, correct. Wow, okay. But initially when formulated, you're thinking it's just because you're moving. Right. But it's, it's, it's actually way deeper than that. And yeah. that's why that one, oh, by the way, his original special theory of relativity was not called that. The title of the research paper was On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies. What? Okay, that was, the, that was the title. We would later call it the special theory of relativity because it was a special case of what would later then be called the general theory of relativity. Oh, oh, wh wh while we're there, let me just slip this in. The GPS satellites orbit higher than our, um, than our, than like the space station and, right. and other things that are in what we call low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit. They're in like MEO, the middle Earth orbit. There's LEO, okay. MEO, and GEO. Okay. Right. If you have kids, maybe you name them that. <laughs> yes. Leo, Mio, and Geo. <laughs> <laughs> Low Earth orbit, uh, Middle Earth orbit, and uh, geosynchronous, geo, uh, geo orbit. Okay. Right. So the, the geosynchronous satellites are, are like middle orbit. That is far enough away from Earth's source of gravity for them to have a different, a measurably different space time condition. Oh. So that their clocks tick faster than our clocks on Earth's surface, because they're farther away. And so, remember I said the, the more intense the gravitational, the, more the, gravitational field, the slower pull. the slower time ticks. So they're farther away. Their time ticks faster relative to us. Wow! But we get precise timings from geosynchronous satellites. So how does this work? We pre-correct the time signal from the GPS satellites to compensate for Einstein's general theory of relativity so that by the time the time reaches us, well, it's been properly corrected and it matters to us and our space-time continuum, not the one that's in middle Earth orbit. Oh my goodness. So, so GPS couldn't work as accurately as it does. However, not, wait a minute. What? I'm sorry, just for me. You would have to have a standard in order to pre-correct something. You know the rate at which its time is speeding up because ah. you can calculate what the gravitational field is up there. There you go, there you go, okay, okay. 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 And once you calculate that, then you do and you say, oh my gosh, we the, the, the formula works, Einstein was right. 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 This is not just something on a few high theory, By the hypothesize way. that may or may not be true, it is true. I just want to be there when that phrase is uttered. Oh my God, Einstein was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these aren't just cult heroes that we wish they were right. right. These are real, this is real. Okay, this is the real universe we're talking about here. Okay, so now watch. Let's keep going faster and faster. Okay. Let's go half the speed of light, three All quarters right. of the speed, 90% the speed of light, 99% the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Time is ticking slower and slower and slower. For you, you will watch the whole future history of the universe unfold in front of your eyes. As fractions of a second go by for you. As you go 99, there's a formula for this, of course, but wow. 99, 99.9, 99.99% the speed of light. Because you're the observer of that, of but that. for you... 
your time has slowed to the point where as you observe the things that are not moving at the speed of light, you see them speeding up. Basically, uh, you see speeding them up. unfold. Correct. Boom. God. Correct. That is insane. Okay.